dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Good evening, I'm Olivia Calfee. We have an update to a story we first told you about at 6. Breathitt County Sheriff's Department deputies arrested Barry Johnson around 4.30 this afternoon. Breathitt County Sheriff John Holland told WYMT that Johnson reportedly shot his wife Tammy Thorpe Saturday morning. Officers told WYMT that Johnson reportedly, quote, staged the scene and reported her death as a suicide. Johnson is charged with murder, tampering with evidence, falsely reporting an incident, and wanton endangerment. Housing issues have had an effect beyond just places for Eastern Kentuckians to live. Hazard Perry County Economic Development Alliance has been working with companies that might want to move into the area, but are hesitant because of the lack of homes to live in. Executive Director Zach Lawrence says he fears people might leave if job opportunities start decreasing. The last thing I want to see is people leave because they don't have a place to be. Um, the workforce is one of the big things that we uh, promote to, to companies looking to be in this region. Uh, we have a great workforce here in our communities uh, and to not have a place for them to live, to, to go to work uh, would, would be detrimental to kind of the goal that we're working on. Lawrence says those fears have only grown since the flood. Another frigid night is on tap across the region as temperatures tumble into the 20s for many locations. Here's a live look over at US 119 at Pine Mountain. Notice some snow still in the grassy areas and those higher elevations tonight. Temperatures for most of us in the 20s, 28 for Hazard, 26 in Manchester, sitting at 29 for London and 23 for Jonesville and Clintwood. The good news, we are dry under a clear sky tonight and that dry weather is going to continue you overnight tonight into your Monday, but clouds are going to increase throughout your Monday and showers are going to return by Monday evening. But tonight, though, all is quiet. Lower 20s in the Cumberland Valley, some upper teens possible for the Kentucky River Valley and lower teens are likely as we get into the Big Sandy. So another chilly night is on the way, but some warmer weather returns for the upcoming week. That full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Olivia. Thanks, Cameron. Today marks 10 years since three family members were murdered in the parking lot of Hazard Community and Technical College. Dalton Stidham was sentenced to three consecutive life sentences for the death of Caitlin Cornett, Doug Cornett, and Taylor Cornett. In July 2014, Perry County Circuit Judge Joe Engel ordered that Stidham serve all three of those life sentences consecutively. The Kentucky Online Offender Lookup reveals that the now 31-year-old is currently serving his sentence at the Southeast State Correctional Complex. An Indiana University student, according to police, was targeted and stabbed on a bus for being Asian. Hate crimes can be seen across the country. This week in Lexington, hateful signs were hung up downtown. No one was hurt in the situation, but LGBTQ plus advocates say there is still a lot of progress that needs to be made in the community. Julia Sandor has more from the folks at the Lexington Pride Center. From vandalism to hateful posters, members of the LGBTQ plus community see things like this far too often. It's something Katherine Taylor says won't change them. Just a way of connecting with people um, that are going through the same things who are um, LGBTQI identifying um, because it is scary. The Lexington Pride Center makes it a point to talk about these issues in the community. They host what's called a heart to heart where people get together to talk about things that happen like the placement of the hateful signs in downtown Lexington. We respect other people's belief systems um, but at the end of the day when you threaten somebody because you don't agree with what they're doing, that's the that's a problem. They say it feels like they're constantly on guard, never knowing what could happen next. And it can happen to any minority community, Taylor says, but they work to make sure everyone has a safe space to rely on. We all have a way of getting together as a community and talking about it and expressing our fears and our concerns with one another. And that really helps to release some of that fear to know that you have your chosen family surrounding you. We will stand together and protect ourselves. We, we won't go back in the closet. That, 
those years, those times are gone. We are here and we're not going anywhere. And if anyone in the community is seeking help or a safe place, Taylor says to reach out to the Lexington Pride Center. They have resources and help for all of those in need. 2023 marks 60 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered the I Have a Dream speech. Elementary school students stood outside the Lincoln Memorial and they recited those same words at the same spot where Dr. King once stood. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is tomorrow and students from Watkins Elementary in Washington, D.C. participated in the ceremony held by the National Park Service. This was the 19th year the event, event has been held. My name is Winston Terry and um, I performed Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech here in, uh, in the fourth grade 19 years ago. I have a dream today. For me, seeing the kids uh, perform the speech, um, it kind of sent chills down my body because I know for me, um, I didn't really understand what it meant at the time, but as I grew up and got older, I guess you could say like, uh, uh, it helped me understand it uh, in, in a better way. Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech was originally delivered on August 28, 1963, some 100 years after President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation Freeing Slaves. President Joe Biden visited Dr. King's church, Ebenezer Baptist, in Atlanta this morning. Coming up at 11, a group of House Republicans wants to abolish the IRS. Why President Biden is not on board. Plus, a busy week of weather is on tap across the mountains. That full first alert forecast coming up next.